So somebody who likes to bring joy to people, random people who sit in are we audiences. About, are we talking about the baby again? <laughs> Okay, so if you got to choose a name for the baby, no, I'm just joking. We're talking about Leyland. Leyland. I would call Leyland. the baby Leyland because it's a, uh, Leyland Motors in the UK. <laughs> we have to find a way to get Maggie in there too. Leyland Maggie, <laughs> Tudor, Sussex. Or whatever. Sussex. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you still do comedy. You're out yes. there touring. Yeah. Why do you sound so surprised? You still, you're, you're still, oh! still trying that, huh? Is that working for you? <laughs> <laughs> So there, you found an audience, so, have you? So bringing joy to people in a clean way. Yeah. Right? That's always been your focus. That, yeah, that's just, I mean, and, and I have to do, what I realized is when I started doing comedy is that you have to do, you have to be who you are yeah. on stage, right? Or at least that's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. And so I've just always been who I am on stage, not quite as angry. Okay. <laughs> sure. My wife is like, you're a little angrier than you are on stage. <laughs> well, okay. So I take a little bit of the edge off. But other than that, yes. Because you want people to stay, <laughs> yeah, right? I do. I don't want to chase them out. But you have uh, gotten the acting bug, will I say. You've been in a couple of movies. Yeah. I, yeah, I started my first sitcom pilot ever was in 1999. Oh. And so I've always just kind of dabbled in, in acting while I was doing comedy. Yeah. Uh, but recently, it's just the acting has kind of it's picked up a little more. So extraordinary. Yeah, Which I just one of the films that you're in. That was my first uh, dramatic lead role. In and a, in with a Kirk Cameron, role. tell us about this story. Is that uh, you running? That's me running. Wow. Yeah, they needed an athlete, so well, clearly there you, go. you were the guy. Who do you go to? Me. No, it's about a, it's about an ultra marathon runner pursuing his passion, uh, neg neglecting his family, and wow. and so that was a. It, it's interesting because that story. Uh, I was like, why do they want me to do this drama and to be the lead in this drama? That's yeah. that's quite. But as I started to read this script. I was like, wow, this is a familiar story to me. Mm. Like the traveling with the stand-up. My mm -hmm. wife and I had been through the similar kind of things. And so uh, that was, that was really, home a little. it did, it did. Yeah. And that's when I realized, oh, God, God's got a hand in this role. Uh, He's he, that's, trying to teach you something. That's right, yeah. Well, I'd, I'd come through it, but I knew, I knew the story, yeah. right? So yeah. um, It hit close to home. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And did. there's a, a more recent project that you're working on that's really I'm, close to home. I'm really excited about that. I wrote the, the script with, with uh, Nathan Blair, uh, who's, who's the director. Um, it's called Sleeper Agent, and I'm going to be playing the sleeper agent, and I'm super excited about that. And <laughs> I wanted to announce today yeah. uh, a role. I'm really excited about this actor. Can I, can I just do that? Absolutely. The stage is yours. So yeah. playing the role of Michael. I don't know what camera. Have I got the right camera? There you go. Playing the role of Michael, Mark Christopher Lawrence. Uh, you may know him from uh, NBC's Chuck. He yeah. Big Mike on Chuck and a ton of other movies. Uh, he is he's come on board to to play Michael in the movie, and I couldn't be happier. Can you tell us a little bit about the story? What is it? What is Sleeper Agent about? It's it's about a guy who's always dreamed of of kind of having a a bigger purpose in life, oh. and uh, he convinces himself that he's a, a generational sleeper agent, which there isn't such a thing. Okay. Uh, and then gets tangled in a real. Uh, a real espionage story. Uh, and it's a comedy. And uh, so, are you in the film as well? I'm playing the sleeper agent. Oh, you are the sleeper yeah. agent. Okay. I don't want to give it away. Okay. But yeah. All right. I so just gave it away. <laughs> so when oh, does it come no. out? Tell us about like. Uh, we we are shooting in in July. Is production. Okay. So I don't I, I don't have any dates to. Uh, but you can go to Sleeper Agent Movie uh, on Facebook and okay. and uh, like that and follow. Or go to the, your website. Go to my website. Yeah, I'll have a link there for sure. That's awesome. I'll go home and make that happen. Before, before this airs. Away, make, it, make, <laughs> make it go to air. Yeah. So wh why do you love doing this? Like, why do you love acting? Why do you love doing comedy? Yeah, God gave me a gift, and, and uh, I love to use it. It's the same with the character in Extraordinary. Mm. He had something, a passion that he knew was from God, and the way to honor God with that passion is by doing it. Yeah, that's a good reminder to us today that if God has planted something in your heart, don't let it go. Maybe pray about it. Ask God for confirmation. Maybe bring some people along that can support you and encourage you in that. Uh, what a great reminder. Thanks again, Leland. You're joining us for the rest of the week. You're not running I'm away. pumped. Hopefully this baby doesn't take over the whole week. <laughs> but I'm excited. Leland Maggie Sussex. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>